Yeah, it is a it is a blow. Um, gives you uh, his form had really um, picked up the last couple of weeks when we've needed him to go back. So yeah, he's a, he leaves a sizable hole, but um, opens up a opens up an opportunity for uh, for Jeremy Laidler or uh, Nick Diagon or one of the other guys who can fill that role. Hopefully, uh, the vibe wasn't the vibe wasn't bad when we were on we three. We played uh, played three really good teams and and we'd played some good footy in that um, you know in that block. So. Although we were disappointed with 0 three, we hadn't sort of lost sight of the of the bigger picture, and it's just sort of about how we're playing. And if uh, those processes are good, then then we're going to win. But um, obviously, they've been a bit better the last two weeks and been able to get the points, which is uh, which is good. Uh, somewhat, somewhat. There's still still areas we need to need to clean up, and uh, ultimately, we're, we're not playing um, not not playing it out at our optimum yet, as as lots of sides aren't. But um, yeah, uh, winning culture. Is important, and, and a uh, follow-on from that is obviously everyone gets confidence. So, um, yeah, it's good to win the last couple of weeks. But uh, again, we, we uh, it's a whole new week this week, and we, we've got to uh, readjust everything. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's, it's something we'll have to address uh, this week with the coaches. But um, yeah, just our structures are just really important, and I think uh, we've just got to stick to those, and and that can be our reference point. But um, yeah, it's some, something we've got to address and hopefully fix uh, over the next next couple of weeks. Yeah, look, not too bad. Um, it's a, a bit of a different role, and expected to be uh, vocal and setting the example all the time. So, yeah, it's a it's a pressure that's that's good. It, it keeps you on your toes, and um, just trying to support Murph and, and Simo and the other leaders as uh, as best I can, and, and vice versa from them. So it's a, it's an important role and something that uh, all of us guys take seriously. Uh, I mean, like uh, like you brought up before about our lapses um, in reference to how we're playing. I think. Um, those are the things that we're concentrating on in our own game, uh, things that we can fix ourselves. And whether it's Melbourne this week or it was Collingwood a couple of weeks ago, um, our, our focus, no matter who we're playing, is on ourselves and how we're playing and trying to get the things that we're doing right or as close to right as we can. Um, you know, we, we plan for the opposition and we want to uh, try to counter their strengths. And um, but uh, it is important, mostly and foremostly, that we uh, we focus on what we're doing. Uh, look, they're working really hard. The D's. Um, I know sometimes when you, you, you're copying big losses, it's hard. Um, you get consumed by that. I, you know, a few years ago here, we were, we were getting whacked every week. But um, look, they've got enough talent in their side um, when they're when they're gelling together to play some good footy. They stayed in the in the game a long time on the weekend, and Brisbane up there and the Heat is a, is a tough trip. So um, them getting back to the MCG, I'm sure uh, we're going to get their best effort, and it's going to take our best effort to uh, to to get over the line. Yeah, it looks like the last couple of weeks. Uh, the results have, have gotten a bit better for them um, from the margin being a bit closer point of view. But um, uh, look, you know, I could string off quality players on every line they've got in their team. And if we um, if we don't bring our A game and, we, and those lapses that we spoke about, five, ten minutes get bigger than they are, then um, we're going to have a serious game on our hands. So that's the way we're approaching it. We're trying to get as much right as we can. <laughs> I think it's a bit too early to, uh, to make a call like that. Yeah, as is, uh, has had a couple of good weeks in a row, but... Um, you know, goals are the goals are the cherry on top of the Sunday. At the end, we just want his pressure, we want his contesting, uh, and he's been doing that the last couple of weeks. And, and that's the thing that uh, Yaz needs to rest his hat on, and he's doing that. So that's what's important. Uh, look, it's hard. I mean, I don't. I'm not a massive rugby league fan, but or union fan, but um, I don't think it's a great look when every try is um, is being referred back. Although you know, the ultimate goal is to get everything right. Um, I just don't think it's a great look to be referring back every single score. Um, to someone upstairs. I just think it, it hurts the flow of the game a little bit. I think that's what makes Aussie rules a bit different and special is uh, the game's continuous, there's action the whole time. You don't have uh, you know, four or five minute lapses where um, the fans are just sitting there and not really sure what to cheer about or what to, uh, what to barrack for. It's, uh, it's action the whole time. So uh, being a new process, I think there's gonna be, um, you know, there's gonna be a feeling out of uh, the best way to do things. Uh, and I think you just you're bound to get one of those happen um, in a blue moon uh, that that affects affects the game. Unfortunately for the Tigers, um, I haven't seen that one, but I've, I've heard that it's um, you know hitting the umpire and um, you know hurt the the result in the end. But um, I think it's just unfortunate for them, and it's just a, a process everyone's going to have to be patient with until it until it gets 100% right, and it may never get 100% right. But uh, it's just something we're going to have to deal with. Well, I'm sure the umpires are getting coached constantly on positioning and, and where they can best stand. Um, it's a bit of a catch-22 if you don't want the umpire straddling the line and getting the best view on whether the ball crosses the line or not, then we open ourselves up to the possibility that they miss one where it's over the line and it doesn't and then it doesn't get referred. So 
Um, I don't think you can have it both ways. The umpires have been standing in that position for a long time. Um, and I don't know, I mean, how many, can you guys remember how many times the ball's at the umpire's knee like that in that sort of situation? I can only remember it happening once. I'm sure it's happened more than that, but it, I don't think it's a big enough issue to, to go out and, um, and rehash things from, from the ground up. Um, I'm not quite sure. Um, by all reports, I spoke to Wadey before and he said he got through the game well and his fitness felt good. So um, it's, uh, he plays a big role for our team, Wadey, but I think it'll come down to match committee at the end of the week, whether they think he's, uh, his fitness is, um, is up to standard and, and whether his touch and his game, um, his game time is up to the, the level that we need it at. So uh, it's a long year and being only round five, I suppose we're lucky that um, Wadey has got time on his side and he can still have a big impact on our year. Look, we are, but we, we want Wadey to be back and in good form when he comes back. We don't, um, I think in the past, he's probably come back too early and where his body hasn't been in, in good enough condition to, to handle the rigours of, uh, of AFL. It's a bloody tough role, the way the tall forwards play. He's often competing against uh, an extra player in front of him, plus his opponent, he's getting smashed from every angle. So uh, we want Wadey to, to play as much of the season as we can, but at a high enough standard where he can contribute his role for the team. Um, our, our tall blokes didn't have a great game on the weekend, but they're competing really hard, and and I don't know that um, you know those guys are fighting hard to keep their spot, knowing that um, when Wadey's fit and going well, he probably is in our starting 18. So uh, that's the challenge for those guys. But um, yeah, we want Wadey back, but but uh, when he's fit.